I think now that's the price of uh, loyalty. But again, you look at it uh, at the flip side, all the political parties in Kenya have no room for divergent views. Mm. The moment you have divergent views, in as much as the anchored maybe on philosophy or ideology, you are seen to be a rebel. And at this stage, we may want to probably congratulate uh, Jubilee because it was very surprising that uh, Mr. Alfred Kater would actually win his position and nobody attempted to ring him out. And we need such kind of uh, people with divergent views, not necessarily being rebels within the political party, but divergent views. People, when they go to the National Assembly, they can actually speak up. If you look at the National Assembly today as it's constituted mm -hmm. under the Senate and you're looking for people who can speak up, you'll be, you'll be shooting in the dark because in the National Assembly, there's nobody who comes up and makes contributions so solid that uh, you are tempted uh, to you know, sit and watch the debate for several hours. And it's unfortunate that in Kenya, people would rather watch debate in the UK, in the House of Commons, just to see how the debates go. But when you're watching our National Assembly in Kenya, if you don't have uh, an energy drink, you'll be falling asleep. <laughs>